Hello Floss Tube. This is Brenda Stitch back. I just want to show you some of my finished objects that hopefully will be fully finished objects this weekend. All right, so here we go. I got this um, little wooden kit where you stitch on uh, wood shapes. And this is a gingerbread man. And I have finished him. I just have to put him together. Hang on. So he came with the felt for the back cut to the shape and I have stitched him. It did come with a couple of beads to put in the eyes but I really thought that didn't look that great so I, I skipped that. But this was cute and really quick to stitch and I like that it's wooden so it's going to last for quite a long time and I got this one I believe um, on Annie's website. And it's called Stitchin' Wood by Romy's Creations. Okay, that's finish number one. Finish number two is a Clouds Factory um, Winnie the Pooh. And I'm going to finish that in the cube like a styrofoam cube, the pre-made one, it fits perfectly with this little, oh, I'm just going to wash out here, hang on, purpley pink flower on the back with a pink and purple ribbons, and I will come back on uh, the weekend and show you that. Let's finish number two. I finished... Little House Needleworks Seasons Greetings. And this is what it looks like. I did it on just a random piece of hand dyed that I got as a grab bag. And I don't remember where that was. It's not showing up that great there, but it's green and it's got some red running through it. Um, I'm going to make this one, I believe, into a pillow finish. And I have some pretty cardinal fabric. To back that with. I'm going to use this fabric for this next one also. I finished Friends by Biddy Bud. Oops, sorry. There you go. And that came as a kit, and that was something I got from Rainbow Stitchery when they were having their clearance on their kits. And I love the way the variegation came out in his sweater. And again, this one's going to be a cube finish with this fabric on the back. And I think that'll be good together. Hang on here. Alright, my next finish is Foxwoods Crossing Santa sleigh. I finished stitching it just now, just before I sat down to make this video, and I have the little sled. I just have to glue this together, and I thought that was cute. I have one more of the sleds, and I have... I think it's uh, Just Cross Stitch Magazine had another design in there to do, so I'll be doing that also before the weekend, and I'll try to finish all of these on the weekend. My last one I have to put together is called, um, it's from Brent Creek, it's one of their Zippies Chicken Flatbed. My brother and his wife, they raise chickens and have fresh eggs. So I thought that would be cute. And I'm actually finishing that. Well, this is the project itself. There we go. So I put it on some gingham fabric and I have the um, jute cord. And then I bought this at Hobby Lobby, I think, or Joann's. It was a frame and it was 
just the um, plain wood and I um, painted it, painted some of the chicken wire and I want to center it in here. Hang on. I want to center it in here like that so they can hang it up. I really haven't figured out how I'm going to do it. I do have some bent needles so I think I'm going to do some clear thread on the back and kind of grab the fabric on the back of this and catch it in this wire so it will stay in place. So that's my thought on that. Hopefully that'll turn out okay but I think it will. So that's that one. And then I have two finished projects that I actually fully finished. I have them framed. I think I've showed you these projects over the year, but I have finally finished them. So this is my boyfriend's. Um, I don't have the chart, so I don't remember what this one, who did this one, but it's called Burnt to Perfection, and it came with that little charm there that is the grill charm, and I framed these myself. These were 50% off frames I got at Hobby Lobby and it, um, I just bought a mat and I think the black mat um, with the white just made it pop and made it look more rich so I really am happy with how this one turned out and he will be getting this for Christmas. The next one is my son's dragon. I think I showed it a couple of times. Let me try to get the glare off here. Um, but I just loved the movement of this frame, how it has all this movement. And I just think the dragon with all the swirls and whatnot has the same kind of movement. So I was really happy. The fabric's a little bit, there we go, a little bit darker there. Um, and I think he's going to be really pleased with this one. So that, that one's finished. And I hope to finish one more. I haven't finished this one fully yet, but this is a mermaid. And I did this with all the Mohs silks, variegated silks. Um, and this was a freebie on Sunflower Diaries website. Um, I just have to finish the lettering and one more flower over here. And hopefully I'll get that done and get that framed. Okay, this was just a quick video to show you my finishes. I will be back. I tried to record a video in September um, when I came back from vacation, but there wasn't enough space on my computer, so I never did finish it. I do have half of it on my computer, so I'm going to try to finish that video and upload that, even though it's past September, um, and I will come back after I fin fully finish all the other projects this weekend and give you guys an update so you can see those. And I will be posting them on the new um, Facebook page that Joe and Molly set up, um, Cross Stitch Finish Line. Hey Joe, hi Molly. Um, both of them live in Connecticut, um, but they live on the East Coast and I live more in the Western corner of Connecticut. And I just want to say, um, have a, give a shout out to Molly and say, I'm so glad your husband's home with you, supporting you, dear. And I wish you all the best with your surgery. Okay, that's it for now. See you later.